Today, I want to talk to you about something a little different. It's actually a uh, custom built mod stand and accessories holder that I made myself. Um, I'm going to show you mine. I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, what other types of mod stands I'm going to be making. Um, and hopefully, if you guys want one, you can contact me and we can figure out how to get you a mod stand to your front door. Alright, so here is an above shot of the actual stand itself. You can see there's a custom spot for my MVP, Tesla, there's a little hole drilled into it for my juice syringe. Um, these two slots over here, let me show you those, actually weren't originally used for these. Obviously you can tell I made a modification to it. Um, I used to put my DIY stuff in here like uh, my wick and cotton was in one in this one and then my tools, pliers, uh, screwdrivers, uh, tweezers, forgot the name of those for a second, were in here. And then my mod, my mod collection grew, so I ended up just getting like a tackle box to put all my DIY stuff in. And now I have my bolt and my sentinel with my, this is actually a buddies of mine. He, uh, this started coming apart right here. So he asked me to glue it together for him. Um, and then my VTR fits in there. I have Ego style connection tank slots. You can see these are much bigger than this. So Ego style, these are uh, iClear 16s. Um, ProTech minis also fit in there. And then these are the all 510 connection holes so I can put any tank that is a 510 connection in there get it in the hole move these all around so you can see they're all the same um, and I also put some drip tips in here they fit nice and snug bam says right there this is a Cardo punch up and down. It's mounted to here. So all I have to do is take a Cardo, slide it right in there, punch it, slide it out. It's very, very nicely and easily accessible. This big circle right here you see is where I put my butane torch. And then there's a square cut out in here where normally just juice goes but I didn't have anywhere to put my vapor shark so I went ahead and put that in there and like that everything is nice and tidy all displayed perfectly I don't know if you can tell this well enough on camera but it's actually like a tier system this is on one tier then there's a lip and then there's another lip right here and I'll have some pictures um, posted in this video to show you uh, from a couple different angles to show you the actual front view, side view, back view, everything like that. Alright, let's go back into normal mode. So here's the view, front view of it empty, the level with the table, so you can kind of see what it looks like from the front, the side view also empty above view you can see all the slots and all the holes drilled and finally the cardo punch view all right so now that you've seen that um really haven't uh thought too much about pricing i'm not trying to make 
a buttload of money off of these. I'm just trying to, um, one, get my name out there, two, um, help out fellow vapors with not having everything thrown around their kitchen table or their desk. The reason I actually made this was because my wife was like, I am sick and tired of having all of your vape gear all over the kitchen table. And so I was like, all right. I took a couple hours, made this, and and now it's all nice and tidy. That That's obviously not all of it, but this is like, it used to be all of it. It used to hold everything. And then um, now what I use it for is my current what I'm what I'm vaping right now kind of uh, <clears throat> system um, so other other projects I'm working on right now that are related to this I I'm doing a cup car holder mod stand for one of my buddies I'm doing a another one of these almost like it it's just half the size uh, for um, one of the girls at the local vape shops around where I work and um, I'm doing another one but I can't think of it right now I'd have to go out in the garage and look at it um, but the nice thing about these they're wooden so they can basically be any color you want I, I can stain it make it look really uh, nice I can paint it uh, make it a certain color for you. I'm actually thinking about making myself another one and um, painting it a red-ish color. Uh, red has just been my my go-to vape color, my drip tip. I have a bunch of these drip tips. Um, I have a, a burgundy red bolt that I like to use sometimes. Um, the I don't know. Red, I just fell in love with the color red for vaping so that's uh that's what I'm doing if you want one just message me and we will discuss options what you want what mod you have what kind of uh, cutouts you want on it and um, and we'll get to working we'll discuss options for pricing obviously <clears throat> the the less amount of uh, time it takes, uh, the, the, the less labor and the less amount of wood I have to buy or screws or or whatnot. Um, it's gonna be uh, like if, if, this, if this is a chart the more stuff that goes into it the more it's gonna cost but um, I don't see these costing much more than probably gonna shoot myself in the foot right now but much more than 60 70 bucks um, this one that I have I could I, I would be willing to sell this after making it to, for somebody for maybe 45 50 bucks and obviously that's before shipping shipping's gonna be on you but um, yeah just let me know if if you're interested in one of these uh, I know there's a lot of people, not a lot of people, there's, there's a bunch of different vape stands, the, the fiberglass ones, there's another wooden stand on Amazon, I forget who it's made by, but, um, so it's, it's not like the first of its kind by any means, but, uh, I know that handmade, crafted, there's some flaws in it, um, but the handmade portion of it, a lot of people, a lot of people really like that, so, I can do it. If you want me to, just let me know, send me a message, and we will talk details. Alright? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Keep on vaping, and stay classy, YouTube.